I'd like to invite Katja Theodorakis to the stage. Katja is from the ANU College of Arts and Social Sciences, and the title of her th talk tonight is Thinking Like Jihadis Do. If we believe Shakespeare, that all the world's a stage, then jihadis are the scripted villains of our time. Just like the communists before them, they're the enemy of everything we hold dear, our way of life, our values, and most of all, our freedom. Their presence could remind of William Butler Yeats' lament that the blood-dimmed tide is loosed. The best lack our conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. As such, death and destruction are seen as their creed, which makes them not only evil, but devoid of humanity. Yet, jihadis themselves believe they're the Jedis of this world, representing the powerless and sacrificing themselves to fight injustice. In essence, they believe jihad to be a moral fight for a better world, a world in which we are the villains. And this is where my research comes in. It explores exactly that, the moral motivations of those who join jihad from our Western societies. How do they see themselves as morally superior? You might be wondering why on earth we should care. After all, they've chosen violence as their only means of communication. Here's why, not because it is moral, but because they believe it to be moral. You see, the problem with a lot of research on this topic is that it lacks imagination. It focuses on what is wrong with a person, their individual and wider social pathologies. This is important, but in many cases, it simply fails to think like jihadis do. So my research takes a different approach, a more creative one that delves into the character of the villain, so to speak. As Joseph Conrad, the first novelist to give us a portrait of a suicide bomber said, my task is above all to make you see. For this end, I'm examining the first-hand accounts of Western fighters through their media testimonies, blog posts, and Twitter feeds. And I'm trying to get as many interviews as I can. It is not as hard as one would think to get access to the worldview of radicals. A man or woman convinced of his or her superior righteousness seldom keeps quiet about it. All this, of course, is not to sympathize with the jihadi cause but above all, to understand not only them, but the world we live in. For if all the world's a stage, then it is our duty to know the actors and forces that shape the drama we're all a part of. Thank you. Thank you. 